Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. And it's Friday, so I'm going live in my Facebook group. So I hope you're able to catch me live today. We're going to be playing with a really fun set called Playing in the Rain. Just trying to find. Just trying to find it on Facebook so that I can check the comments. There we go. So welcome. I'm glad that you are able to make it today. So the Plain in the Rain set is a set from the mini catalog. These products are available until the end of April or some of the things if they sell out then they're gone. For instance the Clover Punch sold out. The Bunny Punch is available I think again but later on. So if you if you see something that you like you probably should get it. And this you're going to love. Playing in the Rain, Stamp Set and Coordinating Dies and also the Paper Pumpkin for um, February I guess. February, coordinates with the Plain in the Rain stamp set. And there was two dies that you could get as a little add-on and I was able to get those because they also sold out. So things really do sell out if you're interested in getting them. And I just want to show you the paper that goes with this. It is just so adorable. And it has some embossing highlights. So on this page it has some white embossing on the clouds and then as usual the backs are more neutrals and they coordinate beautifully. These little guys are so cute. These ones do not coordinate with the dies but the next sheet does coordinate with the dies. So you could fussy cut these out. And then the back the adorable little raindrops. These ones do coordinate with the dies and also I've been using the little circle dies to cut out the little flowers. And then the back, the, it, the color that coordinates with this set is Flirty Flamingo. And this one is Raindrops and if you can see it's almost embossed in clear. And there's the coordinating back and it's supposed to be like that as a watercolor. And there's another one with raindrops, a little brighter. And the back on this one is really fun. And then these cute little umbrellas and there is a die to go with this umbrella. But the other ones would be easy to cut out as well. And these adorable flowers. It's a really happy set of products. You can't work with it and not smile. So we're going to make a couple of cards today, but I just want to remind you about upcoming event, Hop Into Spring Creative Escape, March 18th. Early bird pricing ends on February 14th. I did extend it a little bit. We're making 12 cards, four treat, bo four treat containers, and a little box. And this is the little box we're going to be making. And it does use that adorable little punch. And it opens like this. So we will be making this little box and you will get everything you need pre-cut to put it together and your little bunny might be this color or might be the fresh freesia, one of the colors in that paper. That's a free celebration paper also. And mentioning that, so you can go to my website MarianneCowan.com to register. There are new celebration items available. These are items that some of them are in the catalog and some of them are kits. So you can go and check that out as well. There's the cloud embossing folder. Lots of good things. Songbird Builder Punch. But the products we're working with today are Rain or Shine is the sweet collection. I love when they have a sweet. Everything coordinates and it just makes crafting really fun. You can see the adorable little cards that they've made. And here are the elements in the suite. 
and we're going to be using a lot of these today. So there's the stamp set and dies, the paper, and there's these loose daisy embellishments. They're quite tiny and you get 300 of them. These are on back order right now but they're coming back end of February. And this really cute raindrops embossing folder. It's really adorable. Okay, so that's what we're using today. The first card is basic white base. I hope I have all my stuff over here. And this is the raindrop card, or the raindrop paper, but I've cut it, it's four by five and a quarter, and then I've just cut it, oh actually, it's not, I cut this a while ago. This one is five and a half by probably three, it'll be on my blog. One thing when you put your raindrop paper on, make sure you have the raindrops going the right way. And I know it's February, but we've actually had rain here in Ottawa, which is crazy. We always get a bit of a meltdown because we have our big winter festival on right now. And our canal, which is the highlight, they haven't been able to open it yet. Okay, so I'm just centering this. And then I'm gonna put these little raindrop pieces on the side. one on each side. So these ones don't go down, they're not quite as tall. Oops. I just put that on upside down. After just saying, be careful you don't do that. Okay. I think I after I said that I actually did have them upside down. This paper is just fun to cut out a whole bunch of the characters and then just create and put things together. So next we have a large circle die cut and then I have embossed it using the raindrop embossing folder. It's gonna go right about here. And I'm just gonna put glue in the middle because I know my little character is going to be there. And you can have the rain, I'm going to have the rain kind of going at an angle. Then we have our little character, our little fox. And I did add Wink of Stella to the umbrella. That rhymes. And I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals. When I create with elements like this, I like cutting a whole bunch out and then just playing with them. Now another element that's in this set is this adorable little bridge. So we're gonna put that here. So it looks like the person is walking across the bridge. And our sentiment, rainy days are better with you, is gonna go up here. And I think I'm just gonna put it flat. Probably should have put him down a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. Now to put this on, just deciding what and how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to do really thin strips. I could have used the foam backed sheet actually when I die cut it but I don't really want foam everywhere so I'm just cutting a really skinny piece I think just on each side should be good I'll do another one on the other side I don't think it's gonna fall off There we go. So I'm just going to peel off the other side of the foam. All right. Don't. I think it's actually on sideways. Let's just readjust. There we go. I had it on sideways somehow. Okay. 
Is anyone else in their craft room today? It's kind of a little bit miserable out. But next week we're headed to Arizona for two weeks, so I'm excited about that, and I don't think there'll be any rain there. So these dies are also from the set. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. That's a lot. And I want one on each side of the bridge. Put this one a bit lower. And then I'm going to take some of these tiny little flowers and just add them to our little greenery. You could use your take a pick tool if you're having trouble picking them up. And what I like about this die set is there are two of these dies, so you can cut twice as many, or you can cut it two at a time, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Let's, we'll do three on this side because we don't want it matchy matchy. They are very tiny. All right, there's our first card. Rainy days are better with you. Now I do have this little piece of ribbon to add a bow. Let's see if I like it with the bow. This is the white crinkled seam binding, which I use a lot and I love it because you can color it using the stamp and blends and make it any color you want. Although the bow's cute, I don't think it really needs a bow, so let's leave the bow off. Rainy days are better with you. Adorable, and that seems to be holding perfectly, that little strip of dimensional. Now because these raindrops are coming straight down, you might want to put these ones straight down too, but I think it looks cute. Okay, so that's our first card. We'll make another one that shows off some of the other elements. So we have a balmy blue card base. And then we have balmy blue embossed again using that same embossing folder. I don't want to put it on yet because I'm going to put this piece on first, right over to the left, and then I I'm going to add a ribbon. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Okay, I might change my mind about this. I was going to put this side, and then we're going to have some little kites over here, but I kind of like this. Okay, I'm switching, changing my mind. So in that case, I'm not going to put a ribbon because I don't want a ribbon right through my little field of daisies. So now we're just going to glue it on. I was going to do a ribbon if I was going to put the yellow checked piece on, but seeing as I changed my mind, which happens frequently. So also in this set are these cute little kites. And if you just think about how you die cut them, you can get them um, different ways. Oh, I also, for the inside of the card, I did add some raindrops, just for interest. So we'll add that. And I was going to put this little piece on. kind of like it without, to be honest. And then I'm wondering why we're going kite flying on a rainy day, but that's okay. So also there are these pieces that, oh no, it looks like this is what it's for and that's not what it's for. It actually goes inside the kite to give it some color. There we go. And then there are these little, I really have to figure out which way to put it. It 
it's just such a fun set. So there we have that and another kite and then there's some little clouds also from the set and these little ties that go on to the kites. So let's go ahead and put this stuff on first. I think I'll put this little cloud right here. You could also use some glimmer paper for the clouds. I did that on another one of the cards. It's a lot of fun. And now I'm, I'm going to use some dimensionals to put the kite on. I'll use these little pieces here. Knowing that when I put the little flat or the little bows on, we'll have to see how we're going to attach that. It's like it needs just a little bit more than one, but not quite two dimensionals. All right, so we're going to put this second one on. This is just a fun summer day out flying your kite. So I think the best thing to do with these is perhaps a glue dot. Let's try and see. We might need to roll it. So when I'm, it's a little too big, I just take my little picky tool and I roll it. And I think it's gonna work so that it actually attaches the string to the paper, which is what I'm looking for. And you can decide which side you wanna use. This one, was the raindrop so it looks a little bit shiny which is kind of cool then we'll add a couple to the other one has anyone been playing with this set it really is cute it's perfect because it kind of holds down the string and then you don't have to worry about it getting bent when you put it in the envelope. It must be really fun to design these cards and then all the elements that you're going to put with them. I would think. So here's an example of the little flowers in the paper that I die cut using these stylish shapes, smallest circle, and then I did add Wink of Stella and I'm gonna put this just inside the card down in the corner and then we've got the cute little raindrops on this side I think that's fun and then we do have some little flowers that we can add they are smaller than the other flowers but I think they still look cute they add some dimension and you don't need a lot, just a couple. Here's another random one. The color isn't good though. It's not the right color. Okay, so here's our next card with the little kites and our cute little inside. And I think we have time to do one more stuff out of the way. So this one feature features basic white um, back again. Mango Melody is the other color that coordinates. And then here is that paper with all the flowers on it and I didn't want to waste it because I'm going to be covering it up. So I did die cut out the yellow back piece. Now I should have die cut it the other way so that it looks better, but once this card's all together, you're not gonna notice. 
Okay, so let's put this together. We're just going to layer it up. This goes on the Mango Melody, which is a color I don't often use. And then when you have a paper that coordinates with it, you use it all the time. I don't know if you're like that too. So it's going to go here. Make sure I don't do it upside down. There we go. So now I have white, mango melody, and then the piece that I die cut from the middle, which I actually want this way. Although it did look cute that way. But you'll see when I put the rest of the stuff on with a little scene. Or not, because I've changed my mind already. So here's one way. Then we have our little turtle friend who's going to be sitting on this little stump, which is also in the set, and some grass as well. And then our sentiment, oh happy day. And I think I want the other side. I hate cup. I really hate putting glue on that, but there we go. I am going to use a little piece of ribbon on this one. On this side where the sentiment is going to be, we'll have a little bow just above it is the plan. Let's see if I can get that to work exactly where I want it. This ribbon is really easy to work with. And it's very light, so you can just use a glue dot to get it exactly where you want it. Okay, I'm not going to do anything yet because I want to see if that's what I want. So that's going to look like that. And then we have our stump and our turtle. So our stump goes on flat. Our turtle can get popped up. And then we have our little piece of grass, which we could put right here, I think. All right, so I'm liking this. It's, I think I did it a bit too loose because my string was over a bit too far, my ribbon. Let's try this again. All right, we're gonna pop this up. I would highly recommend, if you don't want to get this whole suite, buying some of the paper. And even with the paper, you can cut out some of the characters and just work with it that way. It really is a lot of fun. And you can see how on his shell, it's almost like it's clear embossed. And that's the way it comes in the paper. It is really pretty paper. Yeah, I do like it with the yellow. I think it makes everything pop a little bit more. Okay, so happy day we're going to pop up. That's our sentiment. Oh, happy day. That's what I mean about this set. You just, it just makes you happy. There we go. And you could add some embellishments and stuff, but I really feel like it doesn't need a lot. I am going to add this little piece of grass, or I don't know, greenery, and then a couple of the little flowers, maybe three. And maybe one over here. So the one over here, we want to make sure it's yellow. The flowers come in yellow and white. Definitely show up better if it's a yellow one there. A white one there and a white one here and a little yellow one here this one's really tiny <laughs> they come in different sizes oh happy day so cute 
So let's review and look at our three cards that we did today, featuring the Playing in the Rain suite of products. So we have our cute little turtle. I don't want to lose these little flowers. They would be easy to lose. So loose daisy embellishments. They're on, not back order, but available again the end of February. So here's the first one with the little turtle. Just realized the camera's crooked. And our one with the kites. And then our cute little one with the fox on the bridge. So those are our three cards for today. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it if you like or share this video. And if you're watching the replay on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll know next time I go live. And I do typically go live Fridays at 3. And I am heading to Arizona for two weeks. So there will be a video posted on Facebook. It just might not be live, but there will be something to inspire you and hopefully get you to your craft room making cards. And don't forget to make a card, send a card. I think I'll donate these to our local retirement home so that they can send them out and put a smile on someone's face. All right, thanks so much for joining me and have a great day.